Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. It's a question that comes up quite often is how do we add different fonts to the Divi theme? Well, we're going to cover that today. We're also going to cover problems that may arise by adding different file types. So let's enable a visual builder. And let's perhaps go over to Google fonts and grab a Google font. And let's perhaps try this Bruno right here. That's going to work for me. Okay. So I'm going to hit the download all button on the bottom right hand side here. And that font is another great site for fonts. If we go back here, Divi comes with a crazy amount of fonts. Let's go down and we'll add a new row. Inside, put anything that's got a text module or text in it. I'm just going to use a blurb module. I'll leave the image and everything just as it is. If we go over to the design tab, and down to either title or body text, any of the text ones. If you click on the font itself, it's the default, it's open sounds. There's all kinds of fonts there. There are a huge amount of fonts. And to audition one, just roll over it and Divi will show you an example of that. But occasionally I get sent designs that I've got to build for. I need to use a different font. So we've downloaded our Bruno font here. Let's go and see it in the folder. And it downloads a zip file for us. And this is the same if you download from Dafont as well. We need to unzip this. And there it is. We've got a TTF file, which is a pretty standard font type file. If we go back to our Divi now and go to the upload, we can drag our file over there and upload it. Simply drag your file, drop it where it says drag files here. And it says supported font weights. There's our little Bruno file. It's a TTF. We need to give it a name. Let's just call it Bruno. And hit the upload. It's giving us a little error here. Sorry, you're not allowed to upload these file types. And this isn't an error with Divi. This is actually a WordPress error that's stopping all kind of files being uploaded so that you can't be hacked quite as easily. Now, the easiest get around for this is go to your dashboard. Go down to Appearance and Plugins. Hit the Add New. And we'll do a search for Easy SVG. There it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and install it. It's just a simple line of PHP you can add to your WordPress files, core files, but this is the easier way of doing it. And we need to activate it. There it is, we've got it activated and ready to go. Well, let's try that again now that we've got that activated. This time it's actually activated it for us and there it is. So there's how to fix that little problem there, if you get that. Now that little issue's fixed, we can upload any font we want. Let's perhaps go over to DAF font this time. Now let's download a crazy font. Let's get this rainbow, perhaps. Again, I'm going to hit the download. And if we go to the folder, there it is. Again, we've got to unzip it. This time we've got an OTF type file, which is another common font file format. So this time, let's go into the actual body text and we'll add it here. It doesn't really matter. We can add it wherever we want. Again, I'm just going to click on the body font. I'm going to hit the upload. Again, I'm going to drag my little OTF file up there so where it, to where it says drag files here and just drop it. There it is right there. We've got to give it a name. When you're happy, hit the upload. And there we have it. It's loaded it in and we can use it on any module or anywhere we want. That's a crazy looking font but it gives you the idea. Like I say, Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts. Once you've uploaded it, it'll be there for anything you want to use it on. But occasionally you need to import a different font. Really easy to do, but like I say, you're occasionally going to come across that little problem 
And if you do have that problem, just download Easy SVG, put it in your search, activate it. Now, the best thing to do once you've actually uploaded all of your fonts is deactivate this again and probably delete it. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate it. And I'm going to go and delete it. Now, our fonts will still be there. The reason I'm deleting this is you don't want any file to be uploadable to your WordPress site because that can cause real problems and it's a way to get hacked and things like that. So by deactivating that again, you've made your site safe and I would recommend doing that once you've uploaded your fonts. Now, once we've uploaded, let's save our page changes. Just make sure everything's going to show up on the front end. We'll exit the Visual Builder. Roll on down. There's our little blurb module. There's our new title text that we put in from Google Fonts. And here's the new body font we put in from Dafont. Really easy to do. And those are two great sources for new fonts should you need them. So there you go, guys. There's how to upload new fonts to your Divi site and also fix the files type not supported error that you get there. I hope that you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.